Good morning. This is Tuesday, September the 29th, and we're going to begin our time together in prayer. Father, may you be blessed today as we read your word. And may your word bless us. May the Holy Spirit teach us and guide us into all truth and all righteousness. Bless this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> We're going to be looking at Philippians chapter 4 today in just one verse. One verse can hold a lot of wisdom from God. One verse can hold a lot of treasures from God in his word. And so we're going to look at verse 1 of Philippians chapter 4, and we're going to talk about being empowered or strengthened in the Lord. Paul says, therefore, my brothers, he's speaking to other Christians, men and women, born again believers who have entered into the to a family of God and become brothers and sisters in Christ. It says, whom I love. You know, it's strange sometimes. It's nothing for me to tell my children or my wife or my family that I love them. But it can seem strange sometimes telling someone else I love them. Uh, showing affection to someone else who's not that intimate with me. Uh, especially men. And uh, But as brothers and sisters in Christ, we belong to the same family. And it's, it, there's nothing wrong with telling each other we love each other. and We care about each other. We're concerned about each other. He says, whom I love and long for. Uh, my son lives in Raleigh, and there, in a day goes by that his sister, uh, my wife, myself, don't long or desire to see him, to hear his voice, and in our own hearts wish for him to live closer, but knowing he's where God wants him to makes all that bearable. But he says, I long for you, and I, he says it's with joy. He has joy in fellow believers. He has joy and their walk with the Lord. He has joy in their lives. It says, and they're a crown to him. He, he witnessed to them. He led them to the Lord. He worked among them. He taught them. And uh, they're, they're kind of like a highlight to his life. They're a crown to his life. And then he tells them, these brothers and sisters in Christ, stand firm. Be strong. Be empowered. Don't be pushed around by other thoughts, by other opinions, by other expectations. Don't turn to the right or the left being distracted here or distracted there. He says, stand firm in the Lord. We're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. We're saved by the power of the Holy Spirit, our faith in Him. We're saved by Jesus and his word. We live with the hope of his promises in our life. We stand firm on Jesus. He is the foundation of our faith. We have no faith. We have no hope without him. So he says, stand firm in the Lord. This is a relationship. When a person uh, realizes their need to be saved from their sins to, because the wrath of God is going to come upon their sins, and they realize that Jesus Christ is the only way to be saved because he was the perfect sacrifice that died uh, in our place for our sins. When we realize this and we put our faith and trust in him, the Holy Spirit, his spirit comes to dwell within us. Uh, this, is, this is what Jesus did for us. He promised that one day we'd be with him in heaven. He promised that he's preparing a place for us. He promised that he would never leave us nor forsake us. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. So it's a relationship that we have with him. We have been adopted into the family of God through Jesus Christ. Because of this relationship, we have fellowship. We get to know and understand him. We get to ask him questions. He tells us answers. We ask for help. He gives us help. He guides us, He leads us, He teaches us. He changes our life from a life of sin to a life of holiness. He changes our desires through this fellowship. Desires for self are changed into desires for others and for God. So Jesus makes a mon monumental change in our lives when we put our faith and trust in Him. Paul is telling the believers in Philippi, 
Stand firm in the Lord. Be empowered in the Lord. May you be empowered in the Lord today as you seek Him. For if you seek Him, He says, you will find Him. Be blessed today.